Hi, this is Dr. Desmond Wai. Uh, today I want to talk about um, gallstone, okay? As a gastroenterologist and hepatologist, I often get referred either by another doctor, by family doctor, or by patient to see me for asymptomatic gallstone. So let me show you what is an asymptomatic gallstone. I've got a little model here. So if this is my right hand side, okay? So you see the gallbladder. So there's stone in the gallbladder, that, but we can diagnose it on a scan like a CT, ultrasound, or MRI. So the, because a lot of scans are being done nowadays for various reasons, some people do it for screening, some people do it for abdominal pain, sometimes we follow up patients with, for hepatitis B, so we do a lot of scans. So inevitably we pick up gallstone, uh, what we call the incidentally, that means we are not looking for them, but we look for other causes, we happen to find gallstone. So gallstone in the gallbladder are quite common. According to medical literature, roughly estimated 1 in 10 people in the general public have gallstone. So I joke with my patient and say that next time when you go for, for your reunion dinner, uh, from your secondary school, for your junior college, uh, just ask around anybody gallstone, so you're surprised of the 10 people, one or two may have gallstone because it's common. But the good news is that uh, when you have gallstone, even if you have gallstone, uh, only 1 in 10 roughly that you ever have gallstone problem. In other words, uh, if you have gallstone, 90% of the time you will live your life fully, go to heaven with the gallstone, without gallstone problem. The chance of you getting gallstone complication for your lifetime risk is roughly uh, 10%. So because 90% will have no problem, only 10% will have a problem, most experts do not recommend removing the gallstone and the gallbladder unless they cause problem, right? I mean, if 10% problem, 90% no problem, it doesn't make sense, not logical as well, to remove all the gallbladder unless they have a problem. Obviously, if you're the unlucky 10% they have symptoms, then we should remove the gallbladder and the gallstone. So common question that we patient ask, uh, what kind of problem can I have? So if this is a gallstone, I told my patient, sometimes gallstone can come out to block the gallbladder opening. When that happens, the gallbladder can be swollen, they can have infection. Some of the stone pass in the bowel duct, they will block the bowel duct over here, greenish one here, and they cause severe pain. When they block the, block the gallbladder, they also have severe pain. When they block the bowel duct, they also have severe pain. Some of the stone block the lower end of the bowel duct and block the outflow of pancreatic juice from the pancreatic duct. They got pancreatitis and they also have severe pain. So I told my patient, gallstone pain are very classical, the two class classics. The first is it's very, very painful until you cry. I've seen macho men cry. Number two is that it's almost always after meal. Why? Because after food, our gallbladder contract. If you have a stone, it will be squeezed out to block the bowel duct or the gallbladder or the pancreatic duct. So if you have symptoms suggestive of gallstone complication, either uh, uh, gallbladder infection, bowel duct blockage, pancreatic duct blockage, pancreatitis, you have severe after meal pain, pain like hell, very, very painful. I joke from patients say that they don't come and see me in the clinic, they will go to A&E and get admitted via A&E. So if you have any of these symptoms, do talk to your specialist, uh, dis discuss whether you should take out the gallbladder. Uh, and what if you have no symptom, you happen to do a scan for fatty liver follow-up, for hepatitis B follow-up, for routine scan to pick up the gallstone. Uh, under current guideline, we do not recommend taking out the gallbladder because it's a small surgery, yet it can carry risk. I've seen patients having complications from gallbladder surgery. So uh, if you have no symptoms, uh, don't take it out. To sum up, if you have asymptomatic gallstone, leave it alone, uh, uh, wait for complication. We do not recommend taking it out routinely because the risk of complication is only 10%, whereas the risk of you living with the gallstone till you go to heaven is 90%. I hope I clear your doubts. This is Dr. Desmond White. Thank you.